Caution! This video is for manufacturers only. The IESNA standard file format for electronic transfer of photometric data and related information, title of IES document LM63-02, which is ANSI approved, is a global standard used by lighting fixture manufacturers to disseminate their product performance data to designers of lighting systems. The standard IES files are prepared by every testing laboratory in North America and Australasia as well as many other global locales. Lighting Analysts has thought it important and convenient to provide a collection of manufacturers IES files to all software end users through a common location we call the Instabase. In this first generation system, it was possible to search across multiple manufacturers for some specific performance characteristics such as bug rating or IES types, IES classes. These are things that can be calculated from the IES file. But performing a comprehensive search to include such obvious items as lamp or source type, wattage, or even imagine an application was problematic or couldn't be done, primarily due to the poor integrity of the IES file's descriptive text universally. Unfortunately, the importance of the IES file's internal information has been woefully neglected by many manufacturers who have failed to recognize that the file contents are actually a very important part of their technical marketing or their public face. The result is inadequate descriptive text such that identifying what product the data actually represents may be impossible to anyone outside of the manufacturer whose name has been changed to protect the guilty in this case. With our new cloud Instabase system, we have put an emphasis on the ability to search for specific types of products across multiple brands, which is an unprecedented capability and incredibly powerful for both specifiers and brand managers alike. If your products are reliably searchable, specifiers will use them. However, the success of such a search is still wholly dependent on the IES file's data integrity. Manufacturers are taking notice, but improving the readability of the many IES files for a large product offering can be a laborious task. To improve the integrity of search results, we have invented custom search keywords, or CSKs. Adding these new keywords to your files will result in products being found in the cloud Instabase searching with a very high rate of success. Things like application type, mounting type, and then better integrity for things like source type. To assist in the addition of CSKs to your IES files, we've developed utility software called the IES Keyword Editor, or IKE for short. But before we go further in how IKE works, a brief reminder of the structure of the IES file is warranted. Here's a typical, albeit fictitious, IES file. All data between the first line, the required IESNA line, and the line beginning with tilt equal is flexible and user definable descriptive information. Each descriptive line is supposed to be prefaced by a keyword in square brackets. LM63 requires the following keywords in every file test, test lab, issue date, and manufact. Other keywords are optional but highly recommended LumCat, Luminaire, LampCat, and Lamp. Custom or user defined keywords are allowed and are supposed to be prefaced with an underscore. All keyword responses are completely user structured. That is to say, you can put whatever you want after the keyword. Ike makes it easy to replace and or add certain keywords within your IES files, either one at a time or, more powerfully, by entire folder or even multiple nested folders. This will help you not only correct the existing manufact keyword response, because Instabase requires them all to be uniform, but add new custom search keywords, CSKs, that are the key to the premium search integrity when using Instabase in the cloud. So let's see how Ike works. Ike is a very flexible program, but there is no undo command. So it is important to back up all of your original IES data files before you start editing. We suggest you work on a copy of your data tree used to create your Instabase. As you can see, Ike reminds you on startup. Let's start by looking at the mother folder of the Zlux demo Instabase. A copy of it, actually. 
With that folder selected, click on the Search button. All of the IES files contained in the entire structure, that is all folders, beneath the Zlux sample instabase dash dave folder, all those files are listed here. We currently have the program set in single mode. You can see that in the lower left and the upper right corner of Ike. Clicking on any file in the list, two things happen. A viewing editing window opens, and existing keywords that are monitored by Ike are automatically loaded in the software's form. These are the Manufact keyword and all custom search keywords, CSKs. This is an easy way to see what CSKs are in your files after you've actually been editing them. You can page through them one at a time and you can actually see the contents of every file. At this point we can manually edit the file and save it if we like. We can change any of the Ike responses and apply them. Normally you wouldn't have to move this window around, I just don't have a lot of screen space making the video. So for example, let's add in the custom search keyword search mounting, let's add post hop. Then I can simply click the apply button. Ike tells us the following keywords were modified. Well, we happened to pull all these keyword responses directly from this file, so we just overwrote the manufact search source type and search application. But the search mounting type actually has the new information in it, and we can actually see that right here. We could also clear all the existing keyword responses, and then add a new one and apply. Let's say we want to put the search color temp keyword in. The following keywords were modified. Search color temp. There it is right there. Selecting another file, we could actually store all the keyword responses for retrieval later. So now to the real power of Ike we'll switch to bulk mode. We can now clear any existing responses, restore the stored responses, uncheck all the files and only check the files that we want those responses to apply to, and apply the selected keywords. So now we've edited two files at one time. Imagine this could be done for an entire folder, of course. Let's look at a few more examples of how you might actually use Ike. Let's replace the Manufact keyword in our entire Instabase. So I'll click on the Mother folder, click Search. Notice all the files are selected. I'm going to clear all the responses, check Manufact, type in my new response, and apply. The following keywords were modified in all 22 files in the Zlux Instabase. And here you can see the response. Zlux is wonderful. Of course it is. It doesn't exist. <laughs> I think I can hear a collective sigh of relief emanating from all of those who prepare their Instabase. This has been a huge issue for years. I don't know why we didn't do this sooner. Let's add a CSK to a specific set of files. If you have one file that you'd like to borrow responses from, select that file. Note all the CSKs from this particular file, ZL Road LED 150, are now loaded in the form. Store the responses. Now, deselect any keywords that you don't want written to all the files. How about source type? Because that's going to be different. How about color temp? Manufact we've already done. So only search application, outdoor, area, roadway, and mounting, arm, pole, and post-op. 
and let's add these responses to all the files in the ZL area folder. Done. Following keywords are modified in five files. Application and mounting type. Bing bing. What if I want to remove a specific CSK or multiple CSKs from all of my files? Select the mother node, search, clear. I want to remove the keyword search certification from all of my files. So I'll check the keyword, but I won't check any responses. Now we'll apply the selected keywords. Following keywords removed in 22 files. It's brilliant. You'll probably find your preferred workflow as you edit your own files. So, to conclude our discussion of Ike, happy editing.